So today uh, I have very important guests uh, from Austria. Uh, they are coming here for the seventh time. Uh, I would like to introduce them to you and then uh, they will tell their story as well. Welcome, sir. Well, uh, as it's true, we are here the seventh time uh, for reasons that we didn't foresee. Because uh, we have traveled a lot, we have seen many, many countries, many, many na national nationalities, many uh, uh, habits, different uh, cultures, religions, etc. And uh, as a matter of fact, it was a very trivial reason why we are here, because I had a hip operation. So after my first hip operation, uh, I was not very well walking and I was walking with Nordic walking sticks. And um, we decided we have to find a place where we have lots of sand to walk in, which is very good, and lots of warm water to swim in. Warm water in the pool and warm water in the sea. Well, it turned out, to cut the long story short, as our best idea as far as holidays concerned in our lives. <laughs> Perfect. Can you tell also about your business life because uh, you have very nice and interesting and attractive job. Well, uh, now we are in pension, retired, but um, we had a very thrilling business life uh, in great theaters and my wife was a great, it was a young star in television for many years and we met on, in a show that uh, we didn't foresee what it would bring us. It brought us uh, my second and her first marriage, with, which since then exists. I was at the State Theatre in Austria and I'm retired there, which means I have several pensions, which is quite good. I can afford to come in. <laughs> and uh, the life was always double, triple, quadruple for me, because to stand on one leg is very, very boring. Mm -hmm. Actors with their vanity and uh, running around to find people, building up networks and to be a star. Uh, you have to invest so much, especially too much alcohol in most cases, and uh, people get used to your face in the end you're not having control of anything anymore. And I always wanted to have control of my life and invest something that I really believe in. So I did, I played good roles in the state theater, but then parallel, I did lots of other things for television, for uh, ads, for talking, uh, reading books for, for to, to be heard and things like that. And uh, also in summer to go to summer festivals and to go on tour. First, I, I was asked and I found it was a good opportunity to get to know Germany after I was in the meantime Austrian. I didn't know Germany, my home country at all, but through traveling as an artist uh, from one town to the other and playing the same performance there 20, 50, 100, 150 times, um, I got to know Germany. I know it very well. I know all the highways in Germany, all, all. The mm. story of the highways, when they were built, how many kilometers they are long, etc., etc. And the detours, which is very important when you have a Stau. Uh, you, you have to go around that, otherwise you don't reach your performance. And that was so fascinating and I was successful and when I met Petra I asked her to go with me which meant also being together the whole time so the great danger of uh, relations in this profession that break up the whole time I mean the magazines are full of uh, stars that get divorced etc we are together now since 33 years and not divorced so <laughs> because we did everything together. Mm. That was a very personal decision and was also the possibility to do the artistic things I liked. First, I accepted the roles that I was offered. 
when I liked them. And afterwards, uh, I began very early to direct myself. So I directed and played the main part, and uh, which was good because it was twice money. Mm. <laughs> and which is more important, to have the control of what is really being shown there. Because if you have a director who tells you play the role like this and this, and you say, that I read it completely different, but you have a contract, and then it's a very bad atmosphere. So very soon I started acting that, what I directed. And also then, when Petra came in my life, uh, I directed with both of us. And it worked. It worked, and they, people accepted me because uh, they liked the package the two of us and the plays we offered. And then after half of the, we were 25 years on tour. And after 12 or 13 years, it was for my own company. Mm. So for a long time, from 2003 to 2015, it was all my decisions or our decision. Sometimes Petra made a suggestion. Actually, our most successful uh, play with most performances was her suggestion. It was a black comedy. Mm. Black comedy is very famous, went around the world. It hadn't been on tour for quite some time. So we were very lucky and people liked it very much and mm. we earned a lot of money. But the main thing is also to have fun, to travel, to have fun. And that's why we then in 2015 stopped, also because it was 72. And also because uh, uh, the highways got so overcrowded mm. and the investment in, of the people in, in uh, theater, in art, in culture got less and less. So all the little towns in German speaking countries uh, said, well, we don't have 7,000 euros anymore. We only have 5,000. Can't, can't you make a play? for one person or two persons so that we can uh, pay it. So I found different ways. I, want, I made the place I wanted and put roles together. So a play with 12 roles, we played with six actors, mm. things like that. Okay. <laughs> so I want to come also to, uh, to our hotels. Yes. Uh, you choose us, we are very happy and you are coming for the seventh time now. Uh, what are the main reasons uh, why you choose Oman, uh, Salalah and our hotels? Well, there is a strange background. My father-in-law, Petra's father, uh, it was a very sad story, it was in Muscat and got a stroke there. He was going on um, uh, water skiing, the before, yeah. yeah, water skiing the day before. And in the night he got a stroke and had to be flown back to Vienna. And after that, it, he wasn't the same anymore. First, it looked like we were fighting fate. Mm. But it's not true. We saw the good sides that my parents-in-law had seen, but they couldn't live it because he got sick too soon. And um, we discovered it early enough for us and our state of health. And uh, it was really fascinating that here everything comes together that I need and my wife needs to be healthy. Warm water, uh, which all doctors tell you after hip operation, I had to add in altogether, I think, eight operations. If old people get operations, <laughs> forget about it. Mm -hmm. I handled it quite well, and now I feel better than ever, thanks mainly to Oman. Because what tourists don't realize is uh, that it's very important not to drink vodka and things like that. You can, but it's not the main thing. Uh, high life, yes, if you enjoy it, but not overdo it. Most important is to swim a lot, to walk along the beach a lot, a lot uh, to enjoy the climate, which is fantastic all year round. We have been at all times here. And uh, you can really recover. If your body is weak, you can recover. 
I mm. swim every morning. It, I began with 10 minutes, 15. Now it's 45 minutes every morning before breakfast. Mm. And twice per day, another half hour. And walking a lot because uh, our room is not so close, which is very good. You walk. Mm. Walking is very, very important. Walking in warm air, good air, sea air. Mm. And then, of course, uh, we are definitely people who like to live and we like good food, mm. occasionally a good wine, and enjoy us ourselves with people around who are very, very agreeable. And that's probably the most important reason why we are here so often. You have a personnel that is fantastic. Mm. We have traveled so much to Asia, to Africa, to Egypt, to Turkey. Name the countries we have been there. And the people who work here, we know all the nationalities, the mentalities. We have been to their own countries. Mm. And we find the Indians, the Bangladesh, the Pakistan, they are as marvelous as we got to know them at their home countries. Mm. And they are so well educated, polite. They have a smile, a joke. When we come here, everybody says, oh, you're back again. And they smile and they laugh and they're happy. And it warms the heart. And that is perhaps the most important, not the good food. Yeah, that's what they, they say. Oh, you're back home again. Back home. And it's very important. And we yeah. are. We are home, at home here. I think it's a kind of a mirror effect because you are also so kind and uh, you well. see the reflection of yours. This is my feeling. So, could you tell me something about yourself, Steve? How, how did you start uh, to your art career? Oh, my parents were also actors. Oh. And um, so for me, it was uh, selbstverständlich, it was natural, natural uh, to, to become an actor. Okay. <laughs> and you started in Austria? In Vienna, yes. In Vienna. So Austria is, Vienna is such a, such a nice city. Yeah, it's really I go every time there, I'm fascinated. Oh. Uh, then I you have there. to visit us. Sure, if I knew, yeah. I could visit you for sure. Yes, we, <laughs> we love right. Vienna, like many people. And then uh, for how many years you were acting? Uh, I started with 18. Oh. So when I was 18, I started. You started. Uh, uh, and then uh, you you created together this black comedy, you said, right? No, oh. that was years, many years Many later. years after. Yeah, 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 many years later. What kind of roles you played? I would think uh, also uh, operette, um, mm. Shakespeare, uh, comedy, everything. Everything. Yeah. Okay. Operette means you were singing as well. Yes, but not like a opera singer. But uh, I was singing like an actress. Oh, <laughs> it's enough, I mean. So yeah. I love also musicals. Mm. Uh, that you have to act, sing, yeah, uh, dance, dance at the yeah. same time. It's so wow. It's I really... studied seven years ballet. So everything helped actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, coming also to our hotels, uh, your husband uh, explained, uh, can we see also from your perspective? Yeah, for me, it's also uh, very nice that the people are coming to you and they give you the feeling you are at home. And uh, for me, it's also a good thing that you have good music mm. in the evening so we can dance. <laughs> Yes, I, I love the dance and uh, and the, the food, of course, it's phenomenal. It's really good. Normally, our guests are gaining in one one week two kilograms. This is our target. Yeah, but I try I, to always say, please, a small portion. Small portion. Please. And it's not so easy to get a small portion. <laughs> <laughs> As you are walking and dancing, so yeah, okay, you yeah. can end up with one kilo after it's, a week. I hope so. <laughs> How long you will stay this time? As we and a half weeks. Oh, I see you also dancing on the floor. It's so nice, yeah, actually. Yes, yeah. And most of uh, our guests, uh, they are hesitating to dance. But they, they, but when you look, someone dancing is different. But you are, if you are dancing with them, is the ambience is totally different. And yeah. <laughs> you are really good. Thank you. And uh, uh, this time was the seventh time, the I think, right? Time, yeah. Did you come always to Fanar? Yes. Do you use also the other hotel services um, or stay mainly um, here? 
mainly here. Uh, we have been at the Silk Road in the Rotana. Yes. So we're a good restaurant. Yeah. But the other restaurants, we like it here more. We like it. <laughs> Once I saw one German couple, uh, they said, are you the chef? I said, yes. So we like your food. They were in Souk restaurant. I mm -hmm. said, really, what did you try? They said, we, stay, we eat only here. Mm -hmm. We don't want to risk anything. They changed the menu anyway. <laughs> So they didn't go to breakers even. Yeah, yeah. But we also have friends, and we told them, uh, come here to the Fana. They came, and then we asked, and how was it? How was the restaurant? And they said, oh, we only were at the Souk. And I said, oh God. <laughs> I told them, yeah, there are so good many restaurants, they're so good. They always went to the Souk. Okay, so they didn't want to change anyway. No, they didn't want to change. <laughs> um, when do you plan to come to us again? Uh, maybe in February. In February. Mm -hmm. So nice. Uh, so October is different, November is different, mm. February. So, but it's really compared to uh, Mediterranean countries. Mm. You can have here from October onwards mm. until end of May this climate. It's, yeah, that's the perfect thing here. Yeah. Uh, and to fly within seven hours from zero to 30, mm -hmm. it's amazing difference. How did you come this time here? Uh, Mostly we come with Qatar Airways. Qatar Airways. With, uh, from? from Vienna to Vienna. Doha and Doha Salala. Oh, perfect. It's there is also one option uh, from Bratislava as well. You can fly I know, directly. But we have to go from Vienna to Bratislava and then have a seven hour flight. So it's better five hours from Vienna to Doha. Okay. And then another two hours from Doha okay, here. Yeah, sure. And uh, Qatar Airways is a good air. Really airline. good. Mm -hmm. So at the same time, we make also marketing for Qatar Airways. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> they are really good. They are yeah. really strong, very uh, caring for their passengers. Mm -hmm. I mean, really good. Uh, and uh, coming also to, uh, to to your tournée, or how do you call it, uh, uh, to visit other cities. Tunisia. You were visiting also in Austria, several places. Yes, of course. We, we played our uh, place in, in uh, Austria, of course, yeah. and uh, Switzerland and Germany. Oh, all German-speaking German countries. Speaking yes, countries yes, yes, yes. Yes. And Northern Italy. And Northern Italy, yeah. Northern Italy, there are also some yeah. German-speaking. Yeah. Ah, okay, it's so cool. Bozum, yeah. Iran. Ah, okay. Uh, any suggestions, any uh, improvement suggestions for us? Stay like you are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.